So I started with Juan doing plein air and watercolor and that was just a wonderful experience because what Juan does is he can, he has the ability to be painting freely and express everything that he's doing right on location. We used the mountains of Marin County to sculpt out the luxury apartments of San Francisco. We used our dark shapes to define the taller buildings of San Francisco. For the next set of lessons, you may use a board, individual boards, for your paper. Make sure that your board is one inch larger than your paper. Then use the clips that I have recommended or any clips that you wish that will hold the paper down in place. Four clips for one sheet of paper. Or the following lesson will be on how to make a board that will hold four quarter sheets of paper. You'll need 16 clips and one extra if you want. Your finished masonite board will measure 32 inches by 24 when completed. This will hold four sheets of quarter sheet watercolor paper very easily. You may cut out a piece of tempered masonite board, cut a four-sided cross in the center of your board, measuring one inch by one inch by one inch. Then take your four clips and place each one in the square of your masonite, tempered masonite board, so that each clip is facing a different direction. Then place each sheet of watercolor paper, quarter sheet, clip the corner of each sheet. Then use your clips to clip the other three corners. Then clip the other sheets of quarter sheet paper. These clips can be purchased at a hardware store. I think they are called spring-loaded clamps. You'll need 16 to go all the way around four sheets of paper. Let us go to one of Juan's workshops. 
My simple design formula. Dominant, Bornet, and Incidental. Everything that we do is ruled by Dominant, Subornate, and Incidental. One of the better ways of studying values and ground planes is to do four paintings at once and to see the advantages of using dominant, subordinate, and incidental in your four paintings. Now, if you study our drawing, you'll notice that we have a dominant foreground. The background is subordinate. The middle ground is incidental to the entire drawing. So this is the middle ground and the background. The middle ground is arranged so that it is incidental, but as you will see, because it's the focal point of our painting, incidental is just as strong as subordinate and dominant. Not only do our ground planes adhere to our formula, but our value plan also must adhere to our formula. In fact, everything that we do from now on is dictated by our formula. You may mix your colors in your egg carton. I will use the porcelain palette to mix color. For this class, to cool our sepia, we'll use Windsor Blue. To warm our sepia, we will mix red and yellow together. Start out mixing your color, always dipping into your yellow first. That way you don't contaminate your yellow, and having two water containers always ensures that you have clean water to mix with your color. Contaminated color will never be bright. Always dip into your yellow first, then your red, and make the orange. The more red you put into your mixture, the brighter orange you will make. Then we'll draw out our sepia and mix that with our orange. This is our warm sepia. And our cool sepia will be our Windsor Blue. And since we are working with a dominant dark, I want to load up my brush with as much dark sepia as possible. So I'm mixing lots of sepia and lots of blue. And I don't want to contaminate my blue with the sepia, so I rinse my brush out, one in the dirty water, and then draw from my clean water to mix a nice clean color. Now we'll be painting with these two colors, a warm sepia and a cool sepia, and then just sepia as our neutral color, giving us three colors again to work with. And of course, in each painting, I want one temperature to dominate. I want one value to dominate. So I'll start with my darkest value. For lesson six, I'll show you examples of what we will be working with. These are samples of working wet into wet and the dominant dark value. The sample of the middle value and the dominant light values.